So I think we're packed pretty efficiently for this trip. So what were you saying about the portages again? I might as well just assume that we've got a doozy every couple hours. Well, in general, we have 68 kilometers of portaging. We get to hike and canoe Algonquin Park in one trip. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And outside of Algonquin. We're gonna go check out Huntsville for a bit today. All right, it's official. We're about to start doing the final post and then off to Huntsville. actually today which was a nice surprise. No one I think that we might have skipped a three kilometer portage which would be awesome but we knew there was a waterfall coming up eventually so obviously this is it. Currently we're on the 3.8 kilometer portage. The portage is more just it's a road that exits off highway 60 so it's fairly straightforward. It's long though but it's a good intro to this route because it's a few of these big ones. Coming to you live from Lake of Bays. It is busy and cottagey as expected. And we're just coming up to what is known as the North Portage, but it's literally a road that we're coming into. We also show pay-per-view events live each month. Everything from hockey to NFL football to UFC. Uh, what kind of meaty pizzas do you have? We'll go with the medium. All right, so we made it to Boston Pizza in Huntsville, and the boys have a little bit of a grumble on. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> There's still lightning rolling in the background, but we don't know if it's coming towards us or what. It's kind of weird. It's been sitting there for a while. It keeps flashing. It's been a nice show. It has been. It's been so quiet with the sunrise or sunset. It's been a nice little paddle. We uh got... We'll close up the hatch here. <laughs> this is what a couple guys need to go up to Big East tomorrow. Oh, that'd be awesome. The river just goes up like a foot. The rain gods have spoken. It's been months, but finally we get some rain. Perfect time to do. The tent's set up. We're doing the Big East tomorrow, which means the water level should be up a bit. And hopefully cool things off a bit. It has been a scorcher. We're on day two, and definitely feel like a few aches this morning, but we're all good. We got a little Madawaska Coffee Company maple roast, freshly ground, to enjoy this morning, along with some of Noah's bushwhacking oats. And uh, yeah, we're trying to set ourselves up for a good day here. Turned the camera off because that was just ridiculous, but I finally got them in. All right, I can see again. Oh, it's a beautiful place to be. The Big East has been an area of this trip that we've been the most um, cautious about. The dropping water levels, as well as going upriver, 
and um, walking. This is an area that we haven't really, um, we, we don't know how long it's going to take us. We're relatively optimistic about what we can accomplish, but at the same time it's going to be a slog. And we'll just have to put our head down and make use of it the entire day. No fishing today. I'll tell you that much. How's the paddle been so far this morning? It's not too bad. We're going up current, but it's it's not too bad. I think we're making some decent distance. Go five kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good against the current. Yeah. It's just a really windy river. Meandering back and forth with all these little sand dunes. We should be heading through Arrowhead Provincial Park at some point. I don't know how soon it is, but I feel like we should be coming up to it. So, still on the Big East River, but we've got some different topography around us now. Some massive sand cliffs. All right, so we pulled over to snack on some food. Get the calorie intake up, stretch our legs for a sec. No, what are you munching on there? Snickers. Snickers. Usually when we're on these trips, we really forget to eat. But on a trip like this, we really have to remember to eat and just keep those calories up because we'll be burning so much. Definitely. So Snickers and other chocolate bars, high calorie. A lot of sugar, so like quick energy too. So when you're kind of feeling a little tired, it spikes you up. You got to do it. You got to do it. There is a decent current. All right, so the current on the Big East got strong enough that the amount of effort that we were putting into paddling, we were barely making any ground. So we figure we're probably quicker to walk now. Welcome to the Big East. You reckon here? Yeah, I think so, man. Holy smokes! We're either on the wrong trail and just straight bushwhacking, or this is the trail and it's absolutely overgrown and doesn't exist. Not easy, folks. Not easy. I'm just really curious if there was like an actual route around there or, or what. <laughs> you catching yourself is always so jealous. <laughs> we just made a quick pit stop at the side of the river. We went for a quick swim just to revitalize the soul. And we had this beautiful cliff to look at here. It's a nice little spot to rest up. Noah and I are feeling pretty refreshed after the slog through the rapids. We're ready to go though. Shall we dance? The reason why we're so refreshed is that we just have a little southern comfort to get the spirits a little warm. <laughs> is your spirit pretty warm right now? My spirit and my throat is pretty warm right now. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, we're gonna continue on. We got you another portage. This one's a lot nicer than any other one we had yet. This is a full-blown waterfall. So it's getting late in the day. And we're still here just hiking away. <laughs> so basically at this point, We've almost hit 40 kilometers for the day. It's getting dark. And we don't really want to roll an ankle in this river, We're trying to walk it at night. Tomorrow is going to be another long day. I think we're going to have like something like 15 board dodges or something tomorrow. It's going to be pretty messed up. But I have to say, I'm pretty stoked for portages to have signs because out here it's just like. We have no idea how many sets of these little like swifty shallow rapids we're gonna have to hike up. Like this, classic example. Noah's about to tell me to get in the canoe because we can paddle for a couple seconds. 
But don't hold your breath, folks. Another nice waterfall. But holy smokes, the whole stretch up here is waterfalls. So like we've got a lot of hiking to do up the shoreline. It's probably waterfalls the entire way from here to the lake, which we know is like just under a kilometer. So it's gonna be a slow section here, but trying to enjoy it on the way because it is really beautiful. They just keep going and going. So I don't know where Noah is right now. It is really hard to bushwhack an 18 foot canoe. Noah! Hello, hello! At the end of all of the waterfalls, there is a dam. <laughs> oh man, it can be hard to stay in high spirits sometimes. Getting back to the site at night, <laughs> basically just going to bed. <laughs> How you feeling though? End of day two, we had a pretty big grind at the end of the day there, like those waterfalls are pretty gnarly. They look cool, but it was just really tough because we didn't really know where we were going. Kind of like our campsite tonight. Yeah, we have no idea where we're going for, we don't know where we're going to sleep yet. This lake's not looking too good. Maybe we can just make a bed out of these lily pads. Another beautiful end to the night though, end of the day. Can't even talk. Most stressful part of the day is doing this. Morning of day three, we are on Distress Lake. Yesterday was pretty hard. We did a lot of lining upriver. It's pretty crazy. We really drained us. We were on the water for more than 14 hours. Today, we don't expect anything less. We will have to be making it into Algonquin Park today. Even just getting up today, our body's already sore. But you just gotta keep doing your tasks and your body will loosen up. We're just coming to the end of Distress Lake and on the map it looks like a 1.2 kilometer portage. We hope it's a portage and not a, an upriver line because <laughs> it's still a little early for that. I don't know if we're ready. Alright, it's going to be somewhere around here. Can you take a peek back there? Yeah, sure. So we think we might have found a road going along the side of all the rapids that we're thinking will be less risky than lining up the river. Should be a little better, eh? Yeah. On the last section that we were lining, we were able to find a trail that went through, it was someone's private property, but uh, they let us go through. And then we had started lining again and we're getting pretty close to Finlayson Lake. So Noah ended up going to scout while I was lining and found a trail. So we're gonna go check that out now. He thinks it might go down along the river. We're just gonna be careful that it doesn't deviate from the river too much because we know there can be some tricksters along the way. So we'll see. There's definitely a trail here, but it is overgrown quite a lot. So there's a lot of dead trees and uh, little undergrowth trees all over the trail, making it a little more difficult. Right up here, man. Chaga? What's that? Is this Chaga? So it's sections like this that really make it difficult to get an 18 foot canoe through the forest. So the portage didn't really work out as well as we planned. So we retreated back to the water and you can see it's all just slogging upstream. Every corner we come around, we think that's about it. And it's just more of that. While one person does the lining, the other person's walking along shore. So we're 
keeping our energy levels relatively high. And it's gonna be slow going, and we know that it's gonna be slow until we get to McCraney. So we're at the head of Finland Sun Lake. There's just a, a small river, pretty much what you see meandering through it. 4K portage, baby! Yes, yeah, so we have to walk up river for a bit, and then we leave the Big East, and then we head up the uh, McCraney Creek. The guy's blog that we read said they did it in about four hours. So that just adds a lot more lack of speed to our day. Yo, do you want to tell them or do you want me to tell them? I can tell the story. So we knew there was a portage of some sort going up to McCraney, leaving the Big East. We didn't know if it was Mark, we didn't know if it was actual bushwhack like it was over there. We come around the corner and we see this glowing sign with an aura around it, just with like the angel singing in the background. Tell them what it is. You tell them what it is. An actual portage. Marked out to the meter, which means it must be somewhat accurate. From what I can tell from here, I can see a small bit of a trail, so... Oh, we're looking, we're feeling good. Feeling real good. Woo! Once we get into McCraney, we're officially into Algonquin. Say peace to the Big East. We'll never, <laughs> we'll never see it again. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever come on this river again. <laughs> 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 